Okay, this one is great too. This is Raw Food Made Easy for One or Two People. People, And this book is great. This book is really good. The recipes are the perfect size for one or two people. Um, I have tried several things. The uh, spaghetti using the sauce is excellent. Using the zucchini noodles, this sauce is, it tastes, you can't tell it's not cooked. The sauce is excellent. Um, I have did some of her dressings. Um, some, a couple of the soups I've done too. Then the pâtés. A very good book. And... Raw Food Real World. Another good book. Um, this one is a little high end. This one... You're going to spend a little money making some of these recipes. There's a lot of ingredients. There's a lot of um, different ingredients, too. There's a lot of recipes that might have a few different ingredients. But if the simpler recipes that I've tried out of here have been amazing. Um, I've tried their flatbread pizza, their hummus. Um, they make hummus using um, cashews instead of zucchini. Um, or the gabonzo beans and this is the recipe I use for my hummus and it is excellent 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 you can't oh it tastes good it tastes just like you um it has the chickpeas in it uh let's see what other recipe have I tried in here um oh there they have some almonds spicy almonds which I I tweak that recipe up a little bit and I usually bring that also to potlucks and people love that one too and then I have uh, the raw gourmet, and I love the corn chowder in this book. Oh my goodness, that is fantastic! I was, I think I was eating that every single day for a couple of weeks. That was very, very good. I haven't tried too many um, other recipes, but her soup recipes look so good. I do plan on trying this winter a little bit more of her um, soup recipes. And then um, I also got the Sprouting for Health in the New Millennium. And this book helped me tremendously on um, learning how to sprout. I was having a lot of problems learning to sprout. It just wasn't working. But after I got this book and I followed the instructions to a T, it works great. And I've been able to sprout ever since. My favorite book so far of the raw food books I got is Raw Revolution. He also has a website and you can get these reci these um, recipes already made up and delivered to your house. Uh, the taco recipe is... it will hurt you. That recipe will hurt you. Uh, <laughs> it is so good. The, it, it tastes better than um, ground taco ground beef with taco seasoning in it it is perfect there was nothing I had to do to that recipe to tweak it to make it any better except for add a, I like a little bit spicy food so I did have to add a little bit more cayenne pepper to that to make it a little bit more spicy but other than that there was nothing else it was perfect the onion bread is unbelievable simple 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 to make if you have a dehydrator it is perfect it is simple you can do so much with it you can use it for your tacos you can make some take some of the cheese instead of keeping it soft you can dehydrate that too and make cheese and crackers um mm, let's see you could do a lot of things <laughs> sorry i'm not thinking well today but uh i do like he has no bean hummus too where he uses the zucchini um, but this and the cheese sticks um, sunflower seed cheese he he has a lot of good recipes in here barbecue sauce creamy ranch dressing a lot of soup recipes but this right here I, I like this I've never ordered from him the box but I do plan on ordering it so I can try some other things but this book is great highly recommend this book right here Okay, for non-raw food, a book that I would like to recommend, my best friend is doing summer sizing. She's been doing it for a couple of years now. She's lost a lot of weight. She's keeping it off. She is looking fantastic. Um, and that is Suzanne Summers' 
books, anything. Um, this is basically food combining. And she breaks it down a little bit um, into stages where you have a stage one, two, and I think three, and maybe even a four. But she breaks it down and um, you start off in stage one where you, you do eliminate a lot of things, but then you can gradually start adding different things back in. And um, my best friend said this is the easiest diet that she's ever done. She's lost a lot of weight. Uh, she's looking great. She's almost looking like the hot mama she was when we were um, in our 20s. So, <laughs> you know, that's a good thing. And, um, well, that's it for my book reviews. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'm going to be bringing you some more raw food recipes as I learn them. And um, hope you enjoy it. Bye.